Question number seven, Simon O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. Can he confirm the number of patients benefiting from first specialist assessments has risen from 404,511 a year in 2008 to 552,423 a year in 2016, and that this is an increase of 147,912 more patients now being seen. Mr. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Dr. Jonathan Common. Yes, indeed. This new data shows a huge 36% increase in the number of patients who are now receiving a hospital specialist assessment each year. That's due to the hard work of health professionals and the extra $4.3 billion invested in the health system under national. And Jonathan's brief supplementary question. Uh, supplementary question, Simon O'Connor. Uh, can the Minister confirm that this positive increase in specialist assessment uh, has included a big increase in the number of patients benefiting from ophthalmology assessment? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Once, a once again, yes. In 2008, 41,468 patients had ophthalmology first specialist assessments, and in 2016, 57,004 patients had ophthalmology assessments. That's an increase of 15,500 patients, or 37 per cent more than under the previous government. Well done, Su oh. <laughs> Su supplementary question, the Honourable Annette King. How confident is he that the figures he's provided of nearly 60,000 New Zealanders refused a first specialist assessment are in fact robust figures and are not considerably higher. Considerably higher. The Honourable Dr Jonathan Cole. Oh, I'd be much more confident of those figures than anyone in the Labour Party would be of their position on the Labour Party list. That's true. Speaker? Order. Order. Point of order, the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, I, I, I don't think there was anything political in my question. Repeat it if you like, and no, you can hear no, it. No, no need to repeat it. Uh, the I question just asked. asked if they were robust. Order. The question asked: How confident is the minister in the particular figures of people who were refused first assessment? And he said, obviously, that he was reasonably confident, and, and added something that was certainly unnecessary but political. More, he said, more confident than he would be in some other figures. Well, it's enough to address the question. <laughs> 